back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. That really helps me. Today we're going to talk about hair products I use to maintain this bleach blonde hair. I know, it's not natural. Here's some products I like to use. Check it out. So let's start off with shampoo because I think that is so important to maintaining the kind of blonde that I like. So my hair is dark and as most of you know with dark hair you're going to get more brass when you, when you bleach out your hair. Thankfully I have a very good colorist so that is key is finding a good colorist that will bleach out your hair and not get that brassy tone that none of us really want. I mean, hey, there's nothing wrong with it if you like that color, but personally for my skin tone, I like more the platinum white blonde, more the ash blonde. So in order to maintain that when I get home, I have to use the correct shampoos. So the shampoos that you would use are called purple shampoos. Now Shimmer Lights, there's some other ones out there that are really good and have been tried and true in the past, but since then there's been other products that have come to the market that are much better. So what I'm going to start off with, and this one I cannot live without, is called uh, Fermisi Color Lover, and it's the Dynamic Blonde Shampoo. And I will put all the details below if you guys can see that. And this shampoo just takes out all the brass. This will get you to the blonde you want. I like to put it in there, leave it on, do some side crunches in the shower, give it some time, you know, you got to mix some fitness in there, and <laughs> allow that to penetrate through your hair, and you don't want to use this every day, because you don't want it to get uh, platinum purple or, or too ashy, so you, you know, it's just leaving it on for that perfect amount of time. If your hair is more porous, it's going to collect more uh, it's going to deposit more purple into your hair, which is, can cause that silver purple tone. So definitely be careful. I would, in the beginning when you use this product, I would definitely probably only leave it in for like five minutes. Now, if you feel like your hair is still brassy after that, then you can go 10 minutes and just figure out for your specific hair. But I would go little increments versus going 15 minutes and then going, whoa. But the good part is even if it does that, you can wash it a few times with regular shampoo and it will, it will go back to normal. So, but finding the right purple shampoo is so important. It's vital to your to keeping that blonde that you want. Other shampoos that I do like are, it's, this one's called Gem Lights. It's called Color Wash Cleanse, uh, Cleanse Plus Color by Celeb Luxury. This is also a really good product as well. Again, I'll list everything below. Um, I don't feel like it works as good as the From EC, but it is, it is just as good. And sometimes I'll alternate. Uh, maybe every few days I'll use that one and then that one. Joyco is another one. This one's called Color Balance Purple, and I really, really like this product. And this one, it gives it more moisture. And from EC, is, it's going to be a little bit more gritty. It's not going to have that moisture. So what I like to do is do my regular shampoo with my other Joyco, which is Color Therapy, just to keep that moisture and that protein. It kind of rebuilds everything. And then I go in with the Fermisi, soak it in, and then I go in with my, my conditioner. So you definitely don't want to just use this product and then use a, uh, and then don't use anything at all. So definitely use a conditioner after this, but it's going to take out that brass. So you want to maintain that beautiful blonde that you want. So purple shampoo is vital in maintaining your blonde hair. And then I also use the Joyco, Joyco Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner to go along with that. Uh, another product I like to use when I get out of the shower is the Joyco, and I'm not sponsored by Joyco, so don't think that. It's just I, I'm a fan of their products. I'm a daughter of a cosmetologist, you can see from my other videos, from my braid videos, that we just find that it works best for our hair. So the K-Pack is the shampoo and conditioner I use, and this is the Lester Lock Multi Perfector Daily Shine and Protect Spray. This is newer to the market, so you want to shake it. And depending on your hair texture, I have uh, medium to thick hair, so I can use I can use a fair amount of it. If you have very thin or fine hair, I would just start off with maybe spraying it in your hand and rubbing it in your hair and just kind of seeing how it how it penetrates in your hair because you don't want it to weigh it down when you style it. Uh, it's a 10 light is what I usually use, but I really like this product and it's really, 
protects the color as well. And it goes well with the K-Pak shampoo and conditioner that I use. But I also like to use the Joy Joyco Moisture, even Suave Carotene Moisture, because if you're you know looking to save money, I feel like that's a, another good product for $2.50. Uh, you can't go wrong, but you can find a lot of Joyco products at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So, you know, keep your eye out, amazon.com. I'll leave all the links below for Amazon on these products, but that is an excellent leave-in conditioner. So again, it's the Joyco K-Pack. Another great leave-in conditioner that really helps um, get to the root, the protein of your hair is, uh, it's called Surface and Trinity Protein Cream. So this is another good one. It's very, very, very good for, uh, leaving your hair, really getting to the root of the hair in, in that leave-in conditioner treatment. But it is very thick, so you want to definitely either dilute it with water in another water bottle or just spray a little bit in your hand and just kind of um, stroke it through your hair. So that's another great leave-in conditioner. Those are extremely important when you're styling your hair. You want a good leave-in conditioner to leave that hair nice and moisturized. I have kind of wavy hair, so I have to blow dry it and straighten it. Another great product is the AG Firewall. AG Firewall. This has been magic for me in keeping my hair where even if I don't blow dry it, which is so not common for me because I there was no product in the market before this, before I started using this, that I can actually leave and leave it air dry and it still looks smooth and and uh like real hair and not coarse hair. So Firewall, I cannot live without this product by AG Hair Care. This is, it's almost like a heat protectant, like a heat protectant that you would use to straighten your hair or blow dry your hair, but this is magic. It's called Smooth, I think. I think it's called Firewall Smooth. And again, I'll leave the link at the bottom to Amazon where you can buy this product. But honestly, this, oh, this is the best stuff ever. So I use it every single day. I, I put my leave-in conditioner and then I spray it with that and it leaves my hair so soft. It is unbelievable, that product. If you're looking for more an inexpensive product, L'Oreal is always good because L'Oreal is actually um, makes a lot of products, but they are actually the makers of Kerastase, which is a very expensive brand. So you know you're getting good quality. This was over the counter. This is called L'Oreal Aleve Extraordinary Oil oil in leave-in cream. So basically it looks like that. And again, I'll leave the link at the bottom. This nourishes and transforms and gives that soft luminous look to your strands. So that's another over-the-counter affordable hair care product that I really, really like. I forgot to mention this deep conditioner. My boyfriend bought this for me. It's um, Kerastase. So again, made by L'Oreal. Uh, but this brand is so good. It's, it is pricey. It can be pricey, but this has lasted me. He bought this for me for my birthday back in March and we're looking at September almost, well, August. And I'm still like, still have like half of the bottle or little t tub left. And I only use this once. I've been using it twice a week since my hair is getting bleached a lot. So, but this just, it smells Oh my goodness, you guys, the smell is unbelievable. It looks like that inside. Oh, it is, it just smells so good. It's like the best smell ever. And this is like, oh my gosh, this has transformed my bleach blonde hair. It was so broken um, a couple months ago and it's definitely brought a lot more protein and moisture back in my hair. Uh, so as far as leave-in oils, Chi Luxury and... OGX are two oils that I like to use. This uh, is more affordable, this one, and this is called Lavender um, Luminescent Platinum Penetrating Oil. So this is good for, for blonde hair, and this, um, again, helps with the brass and keeping that nice platinum blonde. So this is a very, very, very good oil that's affordable that you can buy at Target, Walmart, Amazon, anywhere. So I'll leave again the links below. And then I love this new Chi Luxury Black Seed Oil. It's dry oil, but this is, oh, it smells so good and it's so moisturizing to your ends. So I find this comparable to like Moroccan oil, but cheaper than Moroccan oil. So I really like, I just like Chi oils. I think they're... They're such a good product. You know, their flat irons, their oils, even their hairsprays are really, really good. Speaking of hairspray, one hairspray I like to use is the Kenra Platinum. 
I am a Kenra girl. There's no other hairspray on this market. I don't care, affordable, not affordable. This is the best hairspray. And I like it because you have to be super careful with bleached hair. You cannot go and use these hard head shield hairsprays that are going to make it look crunchy and they're going to take your dry coarse hair and just make it look yucky after a while, especially after you sweat, after any, it's just going to make you look crunchy. So you want to go with more of a soft, gentle hairspray. It will hold with the right back combing and I'll do a video on back combing if you guys want teasing and getting your hair nice and full. But it's all in the teasing. The hairspray just kind of holds it in place a little bit. But you never want anything that's going to be too crunchy and too... I know it. I know it. I was an NBA dancer, a pageant girl. I understand le getting when your hair is fine, you want to just keep putting hairspray in your hair. But that's that necessarily is not going to make it look better. So find a hairspray that holds, but it's still going to give you that flexibility. And this is the best. My mom's a hairdresser and she loves this product too. It's the Kenra Platinum. I like the Kenra Platinum and Sheer Holding Spray Minimal Hold number eight. Again, I will link this to the bottom in the description box. And this is the best hairspray. So definitely invest in good hairspray if you use hairspray. I don't use hairspray every day, but if I'm going somewhere nice, I will use some hairspray. And plus for these lovely broken flyaways in the front, that I'm still dealing with, it is nice to have a flexible hair, hold hairspray. And speaking of those lovely temperamental flyaways, here are some, here are a couple products that I like to use. I have very sensitive skin. I've talked about this before on my channel where a lot of stuff makes me break out. So I have to find, you know, pomades and stuff that are not going to irritate my skin because you have to remember if you're using them, which typically you're using them here and then maybe at the ends, they're going to touch your face. So you want to find something that's not going to be irritating to your face. And that's hard to find sometimes. So the one that I have, that has been excellent product for me for a very, very long time, even when I was dancing in the NBA is the TG bedhead. You know, it's, I think it's called, it's called hard to get, which is not hard to get, but it is hard to get. So it looks like that. It's very dry. And then you just kind of just what I do is I just put it on those little lovely broken ends and try to blend them in with the rest of my hair, which is very hard these days, not gonna lie. So, and then the other one I like to use, which is an over-the-counter and more affordable, is the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean uh, Extra Strong Hold. This is number three, it goes up to number five, but I like the number three. And it, this one smells, oh, they both smell really good, but this one smells really good for an over-the-counter, affordable product. I think it is a good one. So it works. It's similar texture is a little bit lighter, um, a little bit lighter hold. So I think that the TG one, if you're looking for a stronger hold is better. But if you just, if you don't really have the flyaways and you just want to keep some of your, uh, you know, your front part or your bangs or your side bangs or whatever you have in place, this is a really good one. I've used both of these pomades for over 20 years. Great products. Uh, another th important thing I'd like to talk about is brushes because you want to make sure that when your hair is more fragile, especially if you're bleaching, a lot, bleaching it a lot, that you want to make sure you're using brushes that are not going to keep breaking your hair. So wet brushes are your best friend. This is a, it's called, the company is called Wet Brush and it looks like that. This one is more airy and this one's really good for blow drying. And when you first start blow drying your hair, I kind of use more of a wet brush. I don't like to use any other brush, but wet brushes when I blow dry my hair in the beginning. Um, and just to kind of get it, start getting it dry and start getting it um, ready for my round brush to do a, an actual blowout. And then the other wet brush I like to use, this one has a little bit more bristles on it. And I really, I use this one every single day, every single day, because I like to use it on the dry hair. Um, again, it's called Wet and Dry, I think it's Wet Brush Company Ultra, Wet and Dry Ultra. So I like this, and of course I love pink. <laughs> so I like those two brushes. I use my blue comb. My mom and I have talked about that in our other videos. That is my best friend. And then I like to use this, I like Olivia Gardens. Her brushes are really, really good. And this is her new round brush. It says black and gold, and I love black and gold. Um, I like these kind of bristles because they really soften the hair and they dry it really, really nice and smooth. So I definitely use that and I use a cheap blow dryer for now. Um, I also, I use, a, I use a couple other brands like Rusk 
I mean, there's a there's other great brands. I just have had my Chi one for a while, so I just kind of been using that one. For my flat iron, I definitely you have to use a good quality flat iron because you don't want to keep breaking your hair, and you want to make sure you're using quality products, especially when it comes to heat. Um, I use the T3. I did a video on this that my boyfriend bought me, and this is a really good. This is the Lux one, so this is the more expensive one than the one you would find at like Costco. So this is a better one. This is one they sell at Nordstrom's and Amazon. So I think Sephora used to sell them. I don't know if they sell them anymore. And I think that's it. Oh, after you do your hairspray, sometimes I like to have something to kind of give it shine. This product is really, really, really hard to find. I had to, because they, they actually don't even make it anymore, but you can still purchase it on Amazon and you can still purchase it on eBay. Uh, it's called Garnier Fertise, because I really do like that brown. Sleek and shine. 5-in-1 Serum Spray. This makes your hair look like doll hair. It is so good. It leaves your hair so shiny. So that's another really great product I really, really like. So that's it, guys. Those are all the products I use. Again, I don't use all of these products in one setting. So I know it seemed like a lot. I'm just showing you options. Most importantly, maintain your blonde hair. Okay, keep that purple shampoo close by. Make sure you're using moisturizing, protein building shampoos and conditioners. Make sure you use a nice leave-in conditioner. Don't wash your hair every day. Let it go every other day or every two days. Use a deep conditioner. That's the most important thing to maintaining bleach blonde hair. If you want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to set your notification bell to make sure you see future videos. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you.